Hello and good morning. How are you doing today? Hey, good morning. I am very well. How about yourself? Absolutely fantastic. And it's such a blessing to share a conversation with you because you are changing people's lives, not just today, but I have a feeling this is going to be a generational thing that's going to happen. That's going to go long into the years well beyond us. Uh, That is what we're trying to uh, achieve, lasting impact. Uh, So uh, I'm glad you think that that's the case uh, as well, uh, because it's, it's what we're trying to achieve. One of the things that we need to do right off the start is what there's got to be a website for for viewers and listeners to go to so they can they can help you out. They can they can participate with with everything that's taking place. And I don't want to forget to get that that email address or website. So the website uh, is uh, www.rescue.org slash books for Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where people can learn more about this project can learn more about our uh, our work um and then also engage uh with with our work there's so much destruction disruption but there's also calm and 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 people can find that through reading can't they uh they can um and uh, it, it is true that there is uh so much uh destruction two years into um uh this conflict after the full-scale invasion of russia we now see more than 14 million people in need of humanitarian assistance. Um, there are 3 million children that are in need of humanitarian assistance. 10 million Ukrainians had to flee their uh, homes um, because of the violence and are now living in neighboring uh, uh, countries. The Ukrainian economy is in, uh, is in disarray. Um, and there isn't really enough funding for uh, humanitarian assistance. So the, the the world is really grim for uh, for Ukrainians and uh, children often bear the brunt of these types of situations. Yeah, yeah. So uh, to have a project that um, that that helps children deal with the circumstances, uh, take the, takes them out of that world uh, for a little while. Um, has been really important for us. You know, when you t- when you talk about humanitarianism, one of the things, you know, we always think of the food and the clothing and the water, but we don't ever think about the books. You've got to be able to have a, a place where they can learn communication and where they can learn lessons in life. Uh, that is so true. I mean, 40% of the schools in uh, Ukraine are uh, destroyed. Um, one out of two Ukrainian school children uh, is not going to school uh, right now. And that is the same for the 1.3 million uh, children that lives outside of the Ukraine. And so their access to education, their access to books, um, their access to books in their own language uh, has been so limited. And that's where this project uh, really makes a difference. Does this open the door for authors around the world to participate? Well, we clearly uh, hope to uh, uh, generate an impact uh, uh, through this project, and we hope to make more people enthusiastic for uh, projects like uh, like this. And if you see um, how children in London reacted to the uh, to the distribution of books and how they immediately engaged with them. Um, you know, if I imagine myself to be a writer, I would want to be associated with a project like uh, like like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I am an author and I'm going, why am I not participating with this? Well, uh, that is a good question. Then uh, we should talk. I wish you could see our neighborhood for two years, sir. We have flags in support of Ukraine. And there, there's so many reasons why one of them, uh, Joe Lindsley is still over in Ukraine right now as a journalist and refuses to come back. He's over there to help the, the, the people of Ukraine. And then we have Ukrainian families here and we are all united. And so when I to be blessed with this opportunity to talk with you, I can't wait to sit down and share it with them. Yeah, no, I think that is a that's a wonderful um, uh, ID. There are at the moment uh, more than 176,000 Ukrainians in the United States that came through the United um, uh, for Ukraine program uh, that are being hosted by sponsors and by the families that you were just uh, uh, describing. Um, and we imagine that a lot of these families would also really benefit from, you know, projects like yeah. this. Uh, would benefit from more volunteering uh, uh, support, really from any effort that can help them integrate in their um, in their new uh, environment. Uh, the IRC has 29 uh, offices in the United States. Um, we work a lot with volunteers and with local communities 
uh, to welcome Ukrainians and other people uh, that have come here uh, fleeing uh, fleeing violence. So yeah. I think you made a very important point there. Yeah. You speak of the book distribution. It, does that also include apps where, where, where the children and adults can, can download books? Because I'm, I'm one of those Kindle people. I like it on, you know, in, in a book format, but I also like it on the Kindle. Yeah, there is definitely uh, elect- electronic distribution yes. uh, of the of the book is is available um, as well. Uh, we actually have a partner, the Endless OS Foundation, uh, that helps us uh, uh, do just that. Uh, because some people read books, other people read books in apps uh, and through digital means, yep. and we really wanted to make sure that we could reach people, you know, wherever they are in their uh, uh, reading uh, trajectory. And of course, the digital distribution also uh, as expands the scope of a project like that in ways that a physical distribution, uh, you know, could not. Um, what have you learned from this? Because you have to be a student because I've once again, I've never heard of anything like this in history. You are the student and you're teaching the rest of us. So what I've learned from the children, uh, right, is that, say, um, the joy of reading, uh, being able to be connected uh, uh, to books is so important. It's a simple, humane uh, uh, act, but it is so powerful. Um, But what I've also learned is that, say, supporting um, children, Ukrainian children and refugees requires partnerships uh, like the one that we now have with HarperCollins, with the Creative Arts Agencies, and with the Endless OS Foundation. Um, No one could have done this just by themselves. It really required uh, these organizations to come together um, in the the shared objective of supporting children in uh, in conflict. And and so, uh, yeah, there are a lot of learnings uh, uh, for us uh, in this project as well. Wow. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. This platform belongs to you and we can reach the world through it. Thank you so much. Um, It was a pleasure speaking to you. You be brilliant today, okay? Thank you.